So you see there was there was this clown, right? And he'd been doing it, I mean he'd been going at it for a few years. I mean he he had all this joy inside him and he just what he really liked to do is he liked to make people laugh. And so he'd get out there and he'd he'd do what he could do and uh, once in a while people would really go for it. They, they'd make him feel like he had a place in the universe. Like suddenly everything was right. So he decides he's gonna go on the road. He gets himself an agent. And he's out there and he's touring, he's staying in hotels, he's doing the deal, you know, he's living like he's out there on the road and you know it's it's working, it's working. But he's not really getting what he wants. There was times he'd be at a party and man, people would just be going for it. He's like But he's doing alright, he's playing these hotel bars, he's playing these rotary clubs, you know, places we know. just wants them to laugh. You know what I'm talking about, Squid? Come on, take a step up, you boy. So he works out this act. Like I got this seal, right? He's got a seal, it's a funny seal. And he throws a ball to the seal and he's got a couple of seal jokes. And things are going pretty good with the seal, it's a gimmick. People people like it, they like the seal. And he's never quite sure if they're laughing with him or laughing at him, but he's, he's like, he likes the seal and the seal likes the people. Well, one night, one night it's Dubuque. Has anybody ever been to Dubuque? Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice city by the Mississippi, and I mean, he's there at a veterans hall, and they're having one of those things with the, all the doctors and the, the dentists, you know. And it's kind of a little square, but people are getting drunk, and uh, whatever happens, that seal wasn't feeling good that night. And they got the little kiddie pool up there, and he's throwing the, the ball at the seal, but the seal just isn't looking good. He's looking green. And the seal pukes all over the stage. Now people are going. They are laughing, man. I mean, they are going now. And he's like, hey, this is all right. Six seal. All right. He's got all these colors in him. He's got he's got oranges and yellows and reds and all these beautiful bright blues that he wants to share. But when the seal puked and everybody laughed, those colors they got a little duller. The yellow wasn't quite as bright. The orange got a little tinted green. But he was happy. He was making people laugh. That's what he came out for. I mean, wasn't it? He's getting better bookings now. So now he's playing theaters. Now he's downtown Boulder. Now he's playing at the Boulder Theater. Yeah, people are coming in. They're sitting in seats now. Cushy seats, red ones. Sometimes he's going to Denver. He's playing the bigger theaters. He's, he's up there on a big wooden stage now. It's not just the corner of the Rotary Club. No, now this is good. But those colors, they just ain't as bright as they used to be. But it's, it's okay. His booking agent is happy. So he starts thinking, well, Bigger stages, I can do a bigger act. He starts, he takes that kiddie pool and he makes it a little bigger. He gets a ladder. And he starts having the seal do some tricks and dive into the kiddie pool. And then sometimes the clown goes with him, you know. And, uh, and one night there in Denver, he's up there on the, 
he's up there on the ladder and he just takes a little a little slip and it's like a uh, and let me tell you man they are going i mean it ain't quite like dubuque but i mean it's it's pretty damn good oh yeah But those colors, they're getting, they're getting a little duller. Something's happening in the hotel rooms at night. He's just not feeling. He's wondering, did he do the right thing tonight? Well, he's getting better bookings. I mean, now he's in Chicago. He's going to Chicago. He's got the seal. He's even got some little, he's got a helper that helps him out. Throws pies in his face. Powder in the air. All the tricks. And I mean, the crowd is like, they're breaking up, and I mean, they're digging it. I mean, he's, he does the slip and fall. He does where the, the seal spits water in his face. And he lays down on the floor, and he's... Well, let me tell you, one night there in Chicago, he's at a big theater. And way up there in the rigging, where the ropes and the sandbags are, well, there's something going wrong up there. It's a sandbag, and it just just drops, and it... And it just, oh, it just hits the clown. And the clown's like, something's wrong, man. Something's bad. But he opens up his eye and he's just, they are just, they are laughing. I mean, they are, they are rolling in the aisles. I mean, this is bigger than Dubuque. This is bigger than Dubuque. But I mean, this is it, man. This is the big one, man. This is the end. But this is better than Dubuque. I mean, he knows now. I mean, he thought the kiddie pool was gonna get him. I mean, the puke, I mean... But this is... I mean, he really knows now. I mean, this is it. But this is the end. And I mean, they are just, I mean, the phone calls are coming in. The bookings, I mean, the booking agent, he can't answer the phone quick enough. But this is the end, man. The end of the clown. This is, I gotta tell you, man, you made that song a lot. That, that happened, man. It's beautiful. Yeah, that was that was going, man. That was bigger than Dubuque. Six Seal, the Golden Theater, tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, seriously, yeah. Give it, give that song a listen. Anybody that's that's interested, Charles Mingus, because he's one of my favorite all-time favorites. Um, not that that matters, but I mean, he really is worth a listen in any regard. But that song, The Clown, is one that. You can take it so many ways, it's a real piece of art. Yeah.